50 feet, left to right, it's 43 feet. His make percentage is 3%. It's a left to right putt on the 17th hole. And uh, he's taking his time, so maybe he can make it. Something is due to go in. That is for sure. And if he can make this one, then he can definitely still... Come on, dude. Come on, Tiger. Let's go, Tiger. And did he leave it short? Nope, he didn't leave it short. He makes it. He makes it. He just drained the putt. S center cut. Tiger just made birdie on 17. Going to nine under, one stroke away. And that was magical. Okay, that's that. this is still Tiger Woods we're talking about, people. How dare you think that he might not have a chance? How dare you after everything he's done for you? Tiger Woods drains that putt, and it, it was just right in the center, and his speed has been pretty good all day. He's just been a little bit off on his line, and that first one was maybe a little bit too hard, but perfect on the line. And even, like, you can see, like, the, the Nike, and you can see the line on the ball, and the line on the ball was perfectly lined up with the hole. Like, what are the odds of that at the end of 50 feet of rolling? That, that's still like that, you know? It proves that it was a perfect putt what he wanted to do. And Tiger Woods gets a birdie at 17. Reed, how dare you troll Tiger Woods like that? You just made him mad. And he just, you know, he, I guess he's looking more, he was just, I don't know, he doesn't have the killer instinct look. He definitely is like the new Marco Mira. 133 on 18. Good looking punch shot swing. That's kind of the way I hit it, actually. He likes it. And Reed, ooh, a little short, and it backs up. So Reed is going to have, and that keeps on rolling backwards. So that's going to be on the green. And that is on the green, but not going to be the easiest birdie putt. And if anything, I don't think he thought that that was going to spin so much, but that's exactly what he wanted to do. But Reed wearing the red shirt, the black Nike hat, the black pants. How dare you? And there's the myth. There, there's the legend. There's Tiger Woods. We got a close-up on Tiger Woods. And his face is looking pretty good. And now we have the replay of the last putt. And this is old-school Tiger Woods. It was a perfect putt. And he's got the smirk on. There's the, he, the, the smile. That he, he doesn't want to smile. We got about... Two seconds of his smile, then we got another two seconds of his smile with, with, the, with those, just a great, he's got a good smile, he's got good teeth, it's so iconic, his smile, it's like a cat, it's, it's like the Cheshire cat who just did something wrong, and we just got a tiny glimpse of it, and maybe that's exactly what we needed, seven, seven, uh, Tiger's on 18, not wearing a polo shirt, just looks like a regular shirt, but Tiger Woods, I guess, can get away with it, um, he's got an iron in his hand, Here's a shot, and no shot tracker, but I think he likes it. And Tiger's gonna be right in the middle of the fairway on 18 and needs birdie to tie. And not looking like Reed is gonna make this birdie, so yeah, T Tiger actually has a pretty decent opportunity to make this playoff hole on the last hole. And off to commercial break. What's up everybody, thanks for being here going to refresh my video to make sure that it, it is up to date i've been going for a little while um basketball games i only go for an hour so golf i gotta remember it takes a little bit longer and it, it's the tempo of it is more like baseball so when i'm doing basketball i kind of have to go fast because i'm doing play by play so who knows maybe doing golf you just gotta slow down a little bit because you know what you, uh, you can run out of words, it turns out, when you're talking. I didn't even know that it was possible for a human to run out of words to say, but it, it happens. And Tiger Woods has left himself in contention here on 18 and just made a miracle putt to have that opportunity. So you can't expect anything better than this except for Tiger winning the tournament. And for my, for my historic Tiger Woods comeback stream, you know what, if he keeps on winning, I'll keep on doing this. Um, it would be great to have him win the first one and then do it and make the playoff on 18 and, and finishing by going birdie birdie and then winning. So I'd rather him, him be winning right now, but if he wasn't going to be winning right now, what's going on is the best situation. And the fact that he was out of the tournament 
if he didn't make that 50 footer and then he made it i don't know tiger i'd, I'd watch out if i were everybody thanks for coming everybody if i did this again would you guys come back for golf has tiger started 19 no he, yeah yes he started on 18 or he, he hit an iron and he hit it directly in the center of the fairway very similar similar to the way he did yesterday and tiger's irons and ball striking has been very very good so i expect him to be able to get this one kind of close to the hole but but he's got to make the putt and what happened on is reed who's putting right now he left it a little bit short and it backed up and now it looks like he almost has to putt through the fringe and he's got 60 feet putting through the fringe and that's going towards the hole and way short and then now rolling backwards reed this is what you get this is the universe trolling you back reed and tiger woods is going to get the last laugh whether or not he wins or loses he is essentially redoing that putt and He's going to have to put this one through the fringe again. And now we know why Sergio, Sergio Garcia chipped in that situation. That makes a lot more sense. Reed is going to, unless he, he makes a miracle putt, he is not going to win this tournament. And we saw Sergio Garcia chip on the green earlier in the tournament, got it to like four inches, and then shot 65 or 64. So Sergio did it. And there's, I said it. The better golfers, they go the other direction at the ending. Sergio makes par 18 from the same situation. Is now going to make millions. And now Reed, he's, he's, no, now he's chipping. Okay, now he's decided to chip. Way to go, Reed, the co-leader. And he is chipping for par. And I, didn't, I wasn't, didn't I say it the whole time? Here's a chip. It looked like he stubbed it. And a very good chip, actually. And he is going to make bogey on 18. And Reed is not winning this tournament. So either Paul Casey wins it with his minus six today, or they go to overtime with Tiger Woods. This is the best situation that could have happened. And remember when I said with Paul Casey, it's too bad he shot 64 because Tiger Woods probably could have won it. I don't know. Right when I saw that he shot minus six, I, I knew that 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 was odd i knew that that would be tough and reed finishes the the uh round and he shoots 68 finishing at minus nine and you trolled tiger woods wearing the pink shirt you're from texas you're a good old boy but how dare you you are making money because of tiger woods and maybe you should just go to nike and apologize to them and say i will never do that wait is he still sponsored by nike it, who knows maybe nike put him up to that anyway justin rose not finishing well either um just left a putt way short from like 30 feet and then made that one so justin rose now on the 17th hole is minus seven and he's got a six iron and that is drawing left but not by much might be a little bit left nope right at the hole no spin and Justin, Roll, or Justin Rose leaves it about 10 feet past the hole. Um, great opportunity for birdie. So Justin Rose not having the best round, but has a birdie putt there. Oh, no, never mind. He's minus seven. He doesn't have a chance. It's just Tiger Woods right now. He's over the ball, looking like a pitching wedge or something kind of short. And he's got to watch out because what happened was Reed hit it a little bit too short, like a punch shot, and it spun back. So Tiger's got to hit a little bit too far. It's 185, and he is dead center. And this must be a pretty tough pin position. The wind is left to right a little bit. Here's the shot. Beautiful swing. That has got to be good. And Tiger puts it in the middle of the green. Let's hope that stops. Please stop. And that is stopped. Tiger has a putt to get to the playoff hole, but it's short, maybe a 40 foot putt, 30 foot putt. So he's given himself a shot. 
and the, some guy wearing white pants and a green shirt is struggling, but I think that was a pretty good save. Uh, Tiger Woods. You know what, well, let's see if he still got the magic. Let's see, you remember when he made that, at TBC Stadium course, when he made that crazy swinger from the backside of the green? Anyway, he can do it. And this is what he does. And I'm getting pretty excited. Paul Casey, minus 10, shoots minus six today. The British guy with the weird glasses with the stubby legs might beat Tiger Woods. And we went over his stats. It, it doesn't happen very often. It was like 45 to three when it does happen, but it does happen. So let's hope that Tiger, you know what? He might finish second place right now, people. And we just have to be okay with that. Tiger takes his time walking up to the course. We have a tight, a, a close up on him. And he does look like he's in the zone. And this is the most like old Tiger. He has looked throughout the whole entire tournament by far. And it's just the way that he is. He, he's always observing his, his eyes. He's got like, his body is calm, but he's got kind of twitch eyes going. Like he's, his eyes are, anyway, this intensity is what I like to see. Um, his, his body was always calm and he was in, in, in the zone, but his eyes and the way that he was thinking and what he was doing and how, that looked similar and he likes his he definitely likes this look you should have seen his eyes when he first saw what putt he had you should have seen his eyes that was that was the eyes of somebody that knows what it's gonna do you should have seen that i have seen that before here's justin rose for birdie who cares about him tiger woods likes his putt one thing for sure he's not going to leave it short and Justin, uh, Justin Rose misses that putt. Rory Sabatini somehow still, still playing golf. Now, that's a guy, short guy with stubby legs. And here's Brant Snedeker. He's got about a 50-foot chip, and he's probably got a sand wedge or a lob wedge. And he hits it, and that was perfect, but it had too much spin. And what is happening to him happened to Reed, I think. It's going backwards. Let's hope he doesn't have to chip it on the green. And that might be what happened. He's got a Bridgestone ball. And Snedeker not finishing strong. Nobody is finishing strong. And Tiger is just going to get more time to read his putt. Now we got the drone shot of Tiger. And he looks like old Tiger. That is so awesome. And if Tiger's playing next week, we, we will do this again. Um, I can't imagine why he can't keep doing this because the way that he is minus nine right now and doing it, it, it it's not a struggle for him. It's been very simple. He's just hitting it on the green and, and, if, and he should have already won by now, but he's just not putting very well. And Snedeker, I think, is going to hit first. So Tiger gets more time to figure it out. And yes, Snedeker is chipping from the spot that Sergio Garcia was. It's about a 40 footer and it's it's straight but at the, at the very last second it goes to the right so he's got to be aiming about about six inches to the left of the hole and he, nobody's been, been hitting it hard enough all day tiger's the only one that's been hitting these putts hard enough but he actually did hit that one no nope, he didn't hit it hard enough um but it was also way right he didn't know that anyway he didn't he didn't even really try if he would have tried a little bit harder he would have known that that's what, what would have happened and I think he's just trying to get out of the way for Tiger Woods magic. And this is it, people. Tiger Woods, legendary is not the right word. Best, greatest of all time, not the right word. There is no Mount Rushmore when you have Tiger. Can he do it again? He's making a comeback. And you know what? He is, he is God level in terms of his sport. No one else has, has done what he's done getting people to the game millions of people holy crap and he is lining up a putt to go to a playoff against a british dude with nerdy glasses um this is why tiger woods wakes up in the morning he doesn't care about the money he does a little bit he likes the jets but he does it because he wants to beat these lame white guys just guys, you know, I don't think he does it because it's a race thing. Not at all. But it just so happens that they are white. Um, he does it to beat other people playing a sport. And it's not even this. I just think he likes beating people and, and put him in anything. Uh, he would be he would have this. He would be doing the same thing. But he chose golf 
probably because, you know, a lot of pudgy white guys, you know, what sport do you want to play? You want to go against those guys or those guys? You know what? I'll, I'll take the pudgy white guys. Tiger Woods lining up this putt. He knows what he needs to do. We saw the look in his eyes. He knows what the putt's going to do. Taking his time. Oh, just got a subscriber. Reed Helford. Thank you. And Tom Audie. Thank you so much. Don't ask me why I'm doing this, but I'm doing it. And I'm getting a call on the phone. Here's Tiger. Here's the putt. Got the speed. And he missed the putt. Tiger Woods is not going to win the tournament. And he's going to end up tied for second. After having a very frustrating day of golf in that he didn't make his putts. And he didn't make any good birdie putts except for the one on the last hole. And Tiger Woods is going to finish tied for second place. That is so disappointing. And now, at least... At least, I, I mean, I've been doing this for a little while, and what I didn't want to have happen was have Tiger be out. But then we have to at least finish this, because I might as well finish it. But anyway, that's good. So Tiger shoots 70 and minus 9, so tied for second place. And Tiger looks very sad with himself, but he should be happy. I mean, I mean you know what? Maybe not coming back onto the scene like, like, a, like, a fi like a fireworks display is a good thing. You know, a nice slow burn for Tiger Woods. Just, just play some golf, get back into the habit, and and maybe maybe this is exactly what he needed to return back to that to the godlike status. But in golf, he is still godlike. But in culture, not anymore. And but one thing we've learned is that if you if you do it again, if he goes and gets back to what he was doing, we will forgive him for all the stuff. And honestly, what he did wasn't even that bad. He cheated on his wife. She almost killed him with a golf club. And then he got in trouble for pills and driving. 30 miles, he was driving. He, he was sleeping. Anyway, Tiger Woods didn't even really do anything that bad. But for some reason, it, a lot, it went downhill for him. And these days, I think he could have easily gotten away with it. Anyway, thanks for being here, here everybody. Tiger Woods is now... Wait, is this over? Yeah, it's completely over. Or no, yeah, Justin Rose can't win. So this tournament is over. Thanks for being here, everybody. I've been going for a little while. If you like what I'm doing, most of the time I do Lakers game. And tonight I'm going to be doing the game against Cleveland. So come back. And, uh, you know, I'm going to be doing the Lakers game. Thanks for the subscribers. If uh, you can't get to a TV, just think about this like radio. Thanks for the subscribers. If you, you know, a little bit thought this was okay, subscribe. Give me a second chance. And if you don't like it a second chance, then you can go. You know, give me two tries. 